Hey, what's up, you guys? It's LWG here, back with another video. Sorry for the, the sorry for everything. Uh, I didn't record for a very, very long time. But hey, I'm back. Uh, it's school has been really, really hard, and summer recently started. So, um, so I'm gonna start off with a good old Godzilla review. Actually, I already did start off with some uh, Godzilla atomic breath tests. But anyway, let's get into the review. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing NECA Godzilla. 1994, which is the from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Oh, no, 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 no. So, there's a choking hazard at all. Who cares about that? You can see a nice view for the figure. Don't worry about the arm, it's right there. It must have fallen uh, during the shipping. But, um, there's a little view of the 1954 Godzilla, because, like, why not? It says Gojira right there, which is Godzilla in Japanese, if you somehow didn't know. Um,. The back of the box, we can see a good view of the figure stampaging through a city which is the size of my nephew's toes. Anyways, there's a little trademark in there. I don't own Godzilla, blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I really don't. Um, then there's some uh, blah 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 stuff made in China, whatever. Um, uh, this is an unboxing and review, so I'm gonna be. Taking this guy out of the box, assembling him in front of you guys, and reviewing him. So, uh, scissors please. The last time I cut a NECA figure was 2017, so if I'm bad at this, don't blame me. But, I, yeah, I haven't collected figures in a very long time. But hey, I'm back. Side figure is quite old, actually. Second figure of Godzilla by NECA. Oh, there you go, got it. Oh, yep, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, there you go, get this wire off. Oof. Isn't he pretty? Alright, get the tail, that part of the tail off. Get this part, do I have to get this part? Yeah, I do. From here, I okay. Go there and there. All right, this is on a bendy wire. So that's pretty cool, actually, that they put it on the bendy wire. The tail is fully articulated, which is awesome. But it's on a wire, no ball joints. Not like SH monster arts. Put the ball joints up there. Put the arm in. Yep, there you go. Put the two in, and hey, I got. Alright. So if you are, if you think that your tail is too small for the ball joint, use a hair dryer to just heat up this ball joint, make it smaller, and then like just pop that in. But like. Heat it up for like 10 to 15 or 20 seconds. Just not more than 20, basically. There you go. It's completely articulate, which is pretty cool. Alright, so now, wow. Look at him. It was like, oh, okay, right. I put his, like, let's line up his arm for a second. And then I'll put him down. So, like, Alright. There he is. Now, let's do a review on him. So, first of all, let's rub with that. Sculpting, let's just get a little bit of light there. There you go. That's good. Nice. Perfect. So, let's see the details. He has a really tiger looking look. He looks more like a tiger than like a cat look like he did in AC era but it still looks pretty nice and if you get in there you can in fact move the tongue but it's really hard to do it and I don't want to break anything so I'm not gonna do it right now but you can move it you can see some segments there you can in fact move it 
Um, now, if articulation in his head doesn't really move that much, his jaw opens all the way down, which is awesome. His neck can move all the way to side to side, and a little up and down. Arms, the arms are pretty neat, honestly. Arms, let's get this one out. See all that sculpting? There is some um, paint of green shaded into that, but like he's a dinosaur, so like, of course, green, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's pretty cool that you can move the fingers as well, which is pretty neat. Now, getting into the chest. Got more like a lizard dinosaur like pattern. Right there. On the chest. All bulky. He's got the bulky uh, texture and the bulky sculpt on the chest that he's always had. Always had. Now the other arm is basically it's just the same as the other one. But like, yeah. The dorsal plates are pretty neat, but I. You can move these, but like the problem is that they bump into each other and like they can like you know scrape up each other. The tail is fully articulated, almost fully articulated, and the tip. I don't, I recommend you don't do it that much, but it can articulate a little bit because it's on a bendy wire. In fact, and legs. The leg, the foot doesn't really move that much. That is kind of disappointing that the, move, the foot can't really move that much, but the knees aren't really that articulated, but the legs are, like, really articulated. Same lizard sculpture. Same for the... Oh, that looks pretty mean, actually. Um... Uh. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's focus more on articulation here. The head, we already did the articulation for that. Body can move side to side. The, be careful of this, they bump into each other and the paint is gonna get messed up. Arms are pretty neat. You can move the fingers as well, which is a surprise. Let's move this up and down. Same with this. Uh, there are two ball joints at the shoulder. There's one over here and one over here, which is kind of weird. Same for the other arm. Two ball joints. Moving fingers. I love the moving fingers. Actually. The foot has can move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! All right, all right, all right, all right. Get it, get it. So his feet, legs are also movable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna close the view right there. That looks pretty neat, actually. Tail can move. Pretty neat. The 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 first part of the tail doesn't really move that much because there's not really a lot of space. The final, the the last part can a lot because it's on a big wall joint, and the tip can, in fact, move because it is on a bendy wire. When you first look at it, it looks like it's on a ball joint. But it is, in fact, on a bendy wire. SH Monster Arts use ball joints, and it's easier to pop off on that. But however, on Neko's, much, much, much. I popped it off. Howdy! Alright, the tail can move, uh, pop off pretty easily. This, this arm does move a lot and move more, way more than this one because this one already popped off for me. The head can pop off. I don't want to get it, I, want to, I don't want to pop it off, but it does pop off. The jaw, if you, if you like, you know, move it around like this, and then just like, put pressure and just pull it off, it's gonna come off. Now the SH Monster. <laughs> now the NECA Godzilla 1994 is a pretty good figure. 
Not as good as the SC Monster Arts in sculpt and paint, but much better in articulation. So, if you just got all the money you can and just want your figure by the SC Monster Arts, but if you want your figure, if you want the figure that you really, really want, buy the NECA. Now, uh, uh, that's it for the review. I really recommend you buy this figure. It's on a cheap price and it's a good figure itself. Now, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like comment below and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button and now enjoy this little compilation of the figure in poses and i'll see you next time peace